Well, today was move-in day for Malloy University, and it's a historic one. This is the school's first move-in day as a university. News 12's Caroline Flynn was there. I'm nervous because, you know, I've never really like lived away from home, but I'm excited to. It's one of the biggest days of anyone's academic career, move-in day. This is nice. At Malloy, it's even more significant, the first since its status changed from college to university earlier this year. We have so many expansive um, graduate programs that we'd already become a university, we just didn't have the name. It reflects who we are, but it also reflects where we're going in the future. And the future is looking bright as this is the largest freshman class they've welcomed with 646 students representing 23 different states and 14 different countries. Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm anxious. I'm excited, but I'm mostly excited. Ryan Dixon Burke is joining the class of 2026 from Maryland. And with him, plenty of Long Island residents are sharing in that nervous energy. Nora Conley from Riverhead has figured out, though, how she'll handle being separated from mom. She'll call me every night. She's going to FaceTime me every single day. One thing students don't have to worry about is COVID-19 safety protocols. You'll see masks weren't needed in dorms as families moved in belongings. Administrators say they'll continue to educate students on how things like coronavirus and monkeypox spread but are looking forward to a more pre-pandemic school year filled with normal, first-time-on-your-own worries. Resident assistant Selena Marciano says for freshmen, it's typically how to do laundry. Here's her advice. Pick a dryer at a decent time because when the sports teams come out, they have to wash all their uniforms. So if you go out at that time, you're not going to get a washing machine. In Rockville Center, I'm Caroline Flynn for News 12 Long Island.